And religious leaders drawn from interfaith council have urged Kenyans to maintain peace during the Supreme Court presidential election petition hearings. The religious leaders called for patience during the Supreme Court hearing and the acceptance of the ruling of the court as the position of justice. The leaders also called upon the Supreme Court judges to deliver their ruling in justice and fairness. It is our prayer and confidence that truth will prevail and justice will be done, will be done and be seen to be done at the Supreme Court. On our part as religious leaders, we urge every Kenyan, regardless of their political affiliation, to accept the ruling of the Supreme Court as the position of justice. It is Kenya that will have won either way. We commend the residents of the county's constitu constituencies and wards who are participating in electing their leaders today following the earlier postponement. We call upon the residents of these areas to exercise their democratic right and to do so peacefully. All right, so that's all we have for you. Remember, in this last hour, we've just seen um, an update from the registrar at the Supreme Court, that's Anna Madi, telling us about you know the next steps that are set to happen, including uh, the pretrial conference that begins tomorrow at 11 a.m. Now, she also talked about um, a foreign observation mission, and that is a high-level panel of eminent African jurists who are members of the African Judges and Jurists Forum. Now, that observation mission is headed by the retired Chief Justice of the Republic of Tanzania, Honorable Justice Mohamed Chande Otman, and other members of the delegation are Honorable Lady Justice Lilian Tibatemwa Ekirikubinza of the Supreme Court of Uganda, Honorable Lady Justice Ivy Kamanga from the Supreme Court of Appeal of Malawi, Justice Moses Chinengo from the Court of Appeal Lesotho, and Justice Henry Boise Mba, who's a president of the Electoral Court of South Africa. So they're here to observe the whole process and we'll be having bilateral meetings before, during and after with some of the stakeholders, including the ODPP office, uh, the judiciary, um, as well as many other stakeholders in this whole process. So they're already here in the country and we'll be seeing quite a bit of them uh, tomorrow and in the coming days. That's a brief now. We'll have more for you at five o'clock. Good afternoon. We'll see you then.